What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we've got some pretty exciting global news for you guys. Well at least it's exciting to me and of course this news comes courtesy of the one and only Team Dokkaner on Twitter and the general gist of the tweet is that at the beginning of March we'll get a spring arrival celebration on Global that will bring the Prime Battle LR Vegeta as well as the waifu banner that JP got in November and last but not least a brand new future Gohan that will be a world tournament reward for the upcoming world tournament so let's break it down real quick so first things first we've got this prime battle int LR Vegeta of course as all prime battle LRs go it's gonna be a huge huge grind and you're gonna need 777 medals to awaken him from his TUR state was LR state but on the bright side it does give global players something else to do because at this point um, the game's kind of dry again <laughs> I mean this, here's the thing guys I know some people are kind of upset about the fact that you know Dokkan like seems to be dead more often than not but that's how these games go right that's how all gacha games go they go through phases of like hype and then you know it's quiet for a bit and then it's hype again so um, yeah, we got through all the Broly and Gogeta stuff already. I mean, the banners are still there, the discounts are still there, but pretty much all the events and stuff like that are over. And we're just waiting for the next thing. So the next thing will be the Spring Celebration, and we got the Prime Battle into LR Vegeta coming, which I'm very excited about. He's a very solid unit, and his super attacks look super awesome, so I can't wait to farm him out. If you guys don't know what he does, he's a pure Saiyans category lead, key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 70%, colossal damage with the 12 key, and mega colossal damage with the 18 key, and also raises his attack greatly. Raises his attack for one turn, and his passive is 15,000 attack and 20,000 defense at the start of the turn, plus an additional 15,000 attack and two additional attacks for four turns after receiving attack. So, really solid unit right there. His links are pretty standard. He's in pure Saiyans and also Vegeta's lineage, which isn't available on global as of right now and that's pretty much all you have to know about the vegeta and the waifu banner he was referring to in the tweet is this one i believe which included the brand new int rebrianne who's gonna be a uh i mean she's the best possible leader for peppy gals now i don't know if, don't know if you guys really care about that too much but uh she's not bad to pull and also another exciting thing is that this pan um, as well as the uh, Mai here, this 18? Actually, I don't know if the 18 got an Awakening, but I believe the Videl did. So, actually, I think all four of these waifus. So the Pan, well, I wouldn't really call Pan a waifu, but Pan, um, Mai, 18, and the Videl, I believe they all got Awakenings at this time. So if you guys were looking forward to those, then get excited for that. So that's the waifu banner right there, I would say. You know, do maybe like one or two multis if you really want to, especially if you want the Rebrianne. But otherwise, most of you probably have the other waifus that are getting their rebirths. And they all get really, really good rebirths. I think especially the Pan has... I, I think she got the best awakening out of all four, but don't hold me to it. And also there's the uh, the Bra awakening and the Chi Chi, the SDR Chi Chi awakening. Now, they're not going to be getting their awakenings for this specific banner drop, but I believe in the future they will be getting them probably within the next like two or three months on global as well. So that's pretty hype. And last but not least, I want to talk quickly. Actually, no. So for the future Gohan, we don't know anything about it except for the fact that it will probably be a brand new card. It's going to be global exclusive for a while and uh, he will be a world tournament reward. Now, one other thing I think people are thinking about is like whether or not we're gonna get the LR Yamcha, right? Because a lot of people, including myself, really want that Yamcha to run its category, the uh, join forces with all these LRs and all that stuff. Now, I have no idea. <laughs> I really have no idea. But the fact that we're getting a brand new Gohan doesn't exclude or doesn't uh, mean we're not gonna get the Yamcha as well for local rewards. So. I'd still say it's a possibility, but don't hold me to it. It could not happen. We still might get the Tien and, and uh, Chiaotzu for the local LR, but it could be Yamcha starting next. I don't know. I just I just want to put that in your mind. Like maybe it could happen. Maybe it could not. We'll have to see. But last but not least, now I want to talk about this AGL Meta Cooler. So if we go by the 
trend or the order of the Dokkan Fest drops on JP. The next one that logically should be on Global is this AGL Meta Cooler, and I would suspect that his Dokkan Fest is also going to be part of this spring celebration, but I could be wrong, so <laughs> I'm not really sure, guys, but I, I think, I, I really feel that we will be getting AGL Meta Cooler as part of the celebration. But if not, if it doesn't happen, then at the very least, he'll be dropping as the next celebration after the spring one. So either way, we're gonna get AGL Meta Cooler pretty soon. And the one after that should be uh, Int Goku Black that transforms into Rose. So I know you guys, a, a lot of people really, really want both of these cards, especially the Rose. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and hope everybody who does summon for them pulls them within a fairly reasonable amount of stones. And uh, hopefully your boy Tiger's luck if you guys haven't been following my summoning videos. It's been really, really bad. It's been really, really bad. So hopefully my luck will turn around sometime in the near future as well. But that's all the news I have for you guys today. Basically, um, new celebration coming in March, which I'm sure you guys were aware of. I mean, if you just go by like how these games work. Yeah, we get celebration after celebration after celebration. But now we have a few details about what we can expect for the celebration. And it's looking pretty good, in my opinion. It's looking pretty good. LR Vegeta, I'm very excited about. Um, the waifu banner is okay, but I might still do a few multis just for that rebrand. And also, uh, actually no, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do any multis because I already have most of those old waifus rainbowed. And uh, I'll probably just pull dupes. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any multis, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to be summoning on the waifu banner. I'm pretty sure there are no LRs on these banners, so... Uh, you know, you're not going to be accidentally pulling any of those. And uh, last but not least, future Gohan and possibly AGL Meta Cooler. So that's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this news update. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.